Hey everyone, Brandon Poole, Eastern Agronomist with Concept Agritech. I'm out here today in the Piedmont of North Carolina doing some late season evaluations on a one of our uh, Residue RX studies from this spring. Uh, this study was sprayed onto standing rye, cereal rye cover crop. Uh, it was put on at burn down. Uh, this was applied the last week of April and I wanted to show you some of the cool things that I've found here today. So I want to start out here, I'll show you the uh, Residue RX um, cover crop that's left out in the field. Uh, it's kind of kind of difficult to see, but I want you to take a look and kind of see the actual leaf material that's still in this. There's very little uh, leaf material in this. Uh, and when you actually go to break this material, it it just crumbles in your hand. Uh, so kind of kind of some notes to make there uh, about the Residue RX treated. And then I want to show you and take a look at the um, untreated and the amount of leaf material that's still in this residue. Uh, there's quite a bit of actual leaf material along with the straw here in this residue that's left out in the field. Uh, and when you go to break this, it uh, kind of fights you. But it still takes a lot to break this residue apart just in your hands. This uh, cover crop was not rolled. Uh, it was sprayed with the Residue RX product and planted directly into about 10 days after that burn down application with the Residue RX was made. Um, in the Residue RX uh, treated portions of the field, that cover crop that was you know, chest high to me when it was sprayed actually is laid down perfectly flat in between the rows, created that nice barrier that we want to look for with a cover crop that we try to achieve when we roll cover crops. Um, the untreated area of the field, the residue is still standing about six inches off the ground. There's a lot of sunlight getting down to the ground. So with a cover crop scenario where we're trying to possibly uh, control weeds in that field, that cover crop standing is going to allow some of those weed escapes to come up in that field. And it's not going to give us you know, our best, best control for weeds. So kind of want to show real quick just the root differences um, between these uh the treated area from residue rx and the untreated this here is the roots out of the uh, untreated area of the field um, that was not treated with residue rx then uh, here we have the uh, residue rx treated roots so you can see they're substantially bigger um, matter of fact you can actually see some of the residues actually pinned down into the roots um, from the residue rx treated and we're not getting any residue really in the root system of the untreated area. And that's mainly because that cover crop's still sanding, you know, six inches off the ground. We're about a couple weeks out from harvest here. Um, last week I come out, did some quick ear evaluations on this. One of the things that I noticed is that the tip back in the untreated portion of the field was a lot greater than it was in the residue RX treated. And so what we can kind of attribute that tip back to is that in the residue RX treated where we didn't have as much tip back, what we were seeing there is we were actually making more nutrients available throughout the season by releasing it out of that residue. With the residue RX product, we're putting beneficial microbes out there in the field that are not going to tie up some of those nutrients that we're applying to the crop going to help us release the nutrients that are in that cover crop a lot faster. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to any of the team here at Concept Agritech.